So let's talk about using the Ahrefs backlink checker, which is really going to allow you to see what backlinks you're getting on your own website as long as well as your competitors' websites and everything that's happening with these backlinks. In this example, we're going to be talking about a uh, some plumbers in Phoenix. And if we just put this term into Google here, we can see that the number one ranked site is Parker and Sons. And then there's like some directories and stuff. And then the next one is Diamondback Plumbing. So these are like company websites to the local area, right? So theoretically, let's say we're Diamondback Plumbing and we want to analyze our backlinks, check them, and then also see what's going on with our top competitor here so that we can know what needs to be done to improve our backlink portfolio and potentially outrank this company. So we can come to Ahrefs and just put the domain in here. When you do that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this, where you can see all sorts of different metrics that can be helpful for different things. But if you look up at the top here, it says backlinks, and anything that's in blue can be clicked on. So if we click on this, it takes us to this page that I was showing you before, where it has a list of all of the backlinks. We can filter this so we can look at new, we can look at lost backlinks, which are just backlinks that used to exist but no longer exist. We can change the date range, status, a bunch of different things, right? I like to also export this list so that I can then start analyzing it in more depth through a spreadsheet and you, you can even like highlight which backlinks you have and, and uh, or which backlinks your competitor has but you don't have, things like that, right? So here's you know a list of a bunch of backlinks that this company is getting. And we can also take the other competitor, or the competitor here, Parker and Sons. And for this one, I've actually put their plumbing page in because that's the page that's ranking at the very top. And we get a little bit of a different result. So there's only 77 backlinks to this page. But if we look at their website as a whole, there's 167,000 backlinks. So right off the bat, we know we got a lot of work to do <laughs> if we're going to be trying to outrank their company with the diamondbackplumbing.com website, right? Because parkerandsons.com has 167,000 backlinks. Diamondback only has 1.9 thousand. And if we click on this, we can actually see all the backlinks to their entire website, which is a lot. So it'll probably be a lot to export and analyze but that's part of the game here so we can analyze all the backlinks that they've gotten we can even check and see like what backlinks they've lost and see if we can go pick up some of those backlinks ourselves right theoretically if we were trying to compete against them we could try to more or less steal some of their backlinks if you want to put it that way by reaching out to websites that have you know change the link to a different site or removed it or whatever and seeing if they'll link to our site. That's kind of the idea there. Uh, but we can also analyze the backlinks that this individual page is getting, which is the page that they're ranking for, and see the different domain rating, URL rating, which is going to be typically the most important. So if they're getting, uh, you know, domain rating uh, backlinks from domains with a rating of like 92, that's super high, which basically means it's a it's a link from a website that's really authoritative. Whereas something like this, it's just a blogspot site that has no authority, so this link is really not going to give a lot of power to the site that it's linking to, or this page, I should say. Um, so we can start to analyze the backlink portfolio and see what's in the gap, figure out what the competitor is doing compared to what we're doing and determine if it's even going to be possible to rank and if so what needs to be done in terms of getting the backlinks necessary so that our theoretical site here has the authority needed to outrank the competitor which is an uphill battle in this case because it looks like there's probably a hundred and sixty something thousand <laughs> backlinks roughly uh, not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to get all the same backlinks as the other company, right? Oh, where'd it go? Uh, to outrank parkerandsons.com, we wouldn't necessarily need to get 167,000 backlinks. 
We would just need enough backlinks going to the home page because that's what's showing up in the search results here. Enough to increase this DR and UR to the point where it's competitive with what we are seeing over here. So there's this 42 and 26 for the whole website. 42 and 7 for the URL. And this is only 30 and 22. So the, the URL rating is actually pretty high. And, and that's because this is the home page versus this. Oh, man. <laughs> versus this being the, uh, the plumbing page. And what that means is that the home page is usually going to have the highest number of backlinks. So this exact URL is indicated with this rating here. So it looks like the biggest improvement we need to make is theoretically uh, in the DR, which is right here. So if we could improve that, then this site could potentially outrank this other page on this website here. Not necessarily going to outrank the entire domain, but you know, if we're just trying to rank for this one term here, then that's sort of the approach. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.